Now let's see about uh, inverted paste tables. Inverted paste table is mainly useful if you want to store lakhs of entries inside a paste table. Generally, each process has its own paste table. So let me have process P1 which contains 100 pages but assumes that only 10 pages are available in main memory. So what is the size of P1 process? 100 pages. He assumes that main memory contains only 10 pages. Then also what will happen is paste table should contain all the 100 pages information. Suppose let the first page number is 0. Let 0 resides in 5th frame. So it provides the protection bit. Some value bit like that. Okay. So like this. So 0 page, 5th frame. Let first page is not available in any memory. In any main memory. So then it is empty. Let the second page also doesn't resides in main memory. So it doesn't contain any location. Let third page contains. Let the third page is available in a frame number called 4. So likewise it contains all the 100 pages information. So this is nothing but page table. So here what is the problem here? The size of process P1 is 100 pages. Whereas the main memory contains only 10 pages. Even though paste table contains all the 100 pages information. Whether that page resides in main memory or not. If that page resides in main memory, it provides the frame number. Suppose if the page not resides in main memory, it doesn't provide any information. So likewise, let me have one more process. Whose size is some thousand pages. Whose size is thousand pages. So let us assume that here also main memory contains only 10 pages. So what is the size of process 2? Process B2? Thousand pages. Here also assumes that main memory contains only 10 pages. So then also what we have it? The page table contains all these 1000 pages information. So here what we are doing here? The page table is containing all the pages information. Even though those pages doesn't reside in the main memory. So that means we are not utilizing the space of the page table in efficient manner. Here that though here some of the pages are not residing in main memory. So there is no need to store that information inside a page table. So in order to overcome this problem, we are using inverted page table. So what is the problem here? Each process has its own page table. Let we have 100 processes. Then we have to maintain 100 page tables. And the page table should contain all the entries, all the pages information even though some of the pages doesn't reside in main memory. So in order to overcome this problem, we are using inverted page table. Inverted page table is a global page table. That means it stores the information about all the processes. Okay. Here the major advantage of the inverted page table is let the main memory stores 100 pages. Then only those 100 pages information will be available in inverted page table. Even though we have lakhs of pages resides in the processes. So this is very very important point here. So how many pages available in inverted page table? That depends upon the number of pages in the main memory. If main memory contains 100 pages, then inverted page table also contains 100 pages. So that is the advantage of the inverted page table. So in this way we can use what? Efficiency of the page table in effective manner. So it contains only the pages which resides in main memory. If the corresponding page doesn't reside in main memory, then inverted page table doesn't contain that information. Let's see an example here. Initially CPU generated an address. That address is known as logical address. The logical address, generally the logical address is divided into two parts. Page number and offset. But here, in addition to the page number and offset, we have to use PID. So PID stands for process identification number. So which process space we are executing? Let us assume that here the page number is 1. So which process space it is? Whether that page number 1 belongs to P1 or P2 or P3. So which process space it is? So in order to provide that information, we need to provide what? PID information also. 
so here this PID process ID and the base number will be given as input to the inverted base table so for the corresponding process ID and base number it produces frame number as the output so if we combine the frame number with the offset it will give the exact physical address in the main memory so that CPU executes the corresponding instruction in the main memory so here the only change which we are making is in addition to the page number and offset we have to pass this process ID process identification number which process we are executing so that information needs to be passed to the inverted page table so here what is the input to the inverted page table inverted page table accepts process identification number PID and the page number as the input so this is about uh, inverted page table.